Hello. Hello. This is Kirk and Tiffany with Seeking the Glory of God Ministries, and we have a new word for you today. That's right. The Lord wants to establish a baseline regarding something called the rapture. This word was given to us on April 15 of 2022. Um, so he brought us to Matthew 13, and in, it, in Matthew 13, Jesus tells a parable about tares and wheat. Um, so in the beginning, he says the parable, and then I'll skip ahead some verses where Jesus explains the parable. So that's pretty impressive when he tells you the parable, and then he tells you what it means. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Jesus presented another parable to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. Tares are weeds. And went away. But when the wheat sprouted and bore grain, the tares became evident also. The slaves of the landowner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? And he said to them, An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No, for while you are gathering up the tares, you may uproot the wheat with them. Allow both to grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather up the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them up, but gather the wheat into my barn. Then he left the crowds and went into the house, and his disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the parable of the tares of the field. And he said, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man, and the field is the world. And as for the good seed, these are the sons of the kingdom, and the tares are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. So just as the tares are gathered up and burned with fire, so it shall be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send forth his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all the stumbling blocks, and those who commit lawlessness, and will throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears... Let him hear. Hmm. So the Lord says about this, This is what the end of the age will look like, because God has spoken this parable and also its interpretation. Pay attention to this then. It is according to Jesus how it will be at the end of the age. This parable and its interpretation form a baseline for what the end of the age will look like. Take note that Jesus says specifically that the wheat should not be gathered before the tares, and specifically says that the tares should be gathered by the angels at the end of the age, and then the wheat. Hmm. Other scriptures regarding the end of the age, or Jesus' second coming, will agree with this. If it is interpreted differently, or a doctrine is formed in opposition to what Jesus clearly taught, it is wrong. Amen. That's pretty uh, <laughs> simple. Um, it is simple. It, it's amazing. It is. And um, so the Lord has told us before that teaching by the intellect is very complex. And teaching by the Spirit is very simple, because you believe like a child. So a lot of the teachings that you have about a rapture are extremely complex. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we've listened to many of them. We used to believe in a rapture until the Lord told us, forget about it. That, that's not happening. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then he highlighted scriptures. And, but this day, he wants you to form a baseline. He says, the teachings of Jesus, the things that Jesus said, should form the baseline. Jesus is the rock, right? And the apostles and prophets lay the foundation. The rock is Jesus. He's the one that they lay 
the revelation of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Everything else is built upon that. So if somebody reads something that Paul wrote, and it does, their interpretation of what Paul wrote doesn't line up with what Jesus said, discard that. You need the interpretation to line up with what Jesus said. Okay? <laughs> That's just how it goes. Mm -hmm. So this is like a litmus test. Just like, um, so you can, you can, what I'm saying is you can use this parable of the wheat and the tares as a litmus test for the end of the age. This is how it will be. And um, for everything else to kind of build upon because it's the word of Christ. So it's similar to the parable of the sower. Jesus said, if you don't understand the parable of the sower, how are you going to understand any other parable? You have to be able to get that first. And you have to be able to get this first. Um, everything else is built upon it. Um, and it's, it's like the difference... Um, and when we talk about being simple or complex, it's like the difference between a prophet and the gift of prophecy. Some people will tell you all these rules or different things of what makes a prophet. And the simple thing is, Jesus chooses who's a prophet. They themselves are the gift to the church. The Holy Spirit administers the gifts of prophecy. He gives the gift of prophecy to mm -hmm. those who earnestly desire it, those who have the Holy Spirit. It's a gift, but it, it doesn't mean it's an office. There's, there, that's really the simple gist of it. Um, one is called to govern, and the other one edifies the church. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's just an example of that. Something else I noticed in this word was the angels, um, how they're the ones who reap who bring the harvest in or whatever. They first pull out the tares and take them where they're going, and then they, you know, are there for the wheat. And that that's kind of, um, you know, people who have gone to hell and back or gone to heaven and back mm -hmm. will frequently say that. The <clears throat> angels came and got me and brought me there. Um, so that's that's interesting that the Lord says that. Mm -hmm. Some of the other things I, I, I don't know, I just noticed, just some of the things I remember Jesus teaching, um, um, he was talking about like it would be like in the days of um, Noah when the flood came. Mm -hmm. Well, um, if if you use this for a baseline, then and you, you then you notice that all of the um, lawless ones were taken away, mm -hmm. and Noah was preserved um, on the earth. He was. Um, so it's like um, like this is talking about the the um, the wheat remains and the tares are removed That's first right. yeah. and um, it, it's it's and the same thing he said about uh, like in the time of lot right uh, same deal yep the wicked were removed lot remained lot <laughs> remained um, mm -hmm. on earth and mm -hmm. so yeah um, and something else too. <clears throat> the basic idea of a rapture is to escape the the trouble. That is not a basic characteristic of our Lord. Mm -mm. That's anti-biblical. <laughs> it it is. I, Jesus didn't escape, um, and Israel didn't escape. Um, they left Egypt, and then they were sent into the land to to fight mm -hmm. for the promised land. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sihon and Og had to be conquered just in order to get there. And then there were all the cities in the... the um, so it's just a different um, way to look at mm -hmm. um, things. And I think establishing a, a litmus test or a baseline of what... This is what Jesus said the end is going to be. Okay. Look for those things and agree with those things and, and the rest of Scripture. So That's right. That's right. I'm sure the Lord will talk more about this, but he wants you to have a baseline. So mm -hmm. just take it by faith. Amen. Yep. Jesus loves you. He loves you so much. He just wants you to know what's coming. Hello. Hello. This is uh, Kirk and Tiffany, and we want to tell you about Seeking the Glory of God Ministries and, more importantly, Destiny Road LLC. DestinyRoadStore.com exists to help those who are at risk or have been rescued from human trafficking. While spreading the gospel to the nations, supporting orphanages, and helping our partner Jimmy in Haiti to spread the gospel there. 
All of the money that you spend at Destiny Road goes to further the kingdom of heaven. If you would rather, you may donate to Seeking the Glory of God Ministries, and the information is in the description box below this video. God bless you and thank you. God bless you.